We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. And our family. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today, we're making delicious fried mackerel patties, y'all. Yes, and here are our ingredients. Here we have some chopped onions, black pepper, salt, two cans of mackerel, onion powder, and an egg. And we also have some regular yellow cornmeal for breading. Okay, y'all, let's get to making our fried mackerel patties. Okay, we're using two cans of mackerel. I have drained one can and the other can, I'm gonna drain maybe half of the juices off this can. And we're pouring them into our bowl. Here we are mashing up our mackerels with a fork and we're gonna mash them up just as much as possible so they will be able to be formed into patties. Here I'm showing you that these mackerel does have bones in them, but they, you can't even tell when you taste them. You can't even tell because these mackerels are cooked and the bones are just, you know, just tender. So um, if you prefer to remove yours, you definitely can. Okay, we're going to continue to mash these until they all are completely mashed. I'm not going to turn my camera off. I'm gonna let you see exactly how it's done. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Let's go to the next step. Here we're adding our one egg. Our onions, you can cut your onions up as small or large as you prefer. I don't like big onions in mine, so I removed all the large pieces. Next, we're adding in our black pepper. Onion powder. Now we're mixing our ingredients in. Make sure to mix all these ingredients in well. Here I'm adding in maybe a tablespoon of flour. This helped combine our patties together. This is one of the things I remember my mother doing. She didn't add a lot, just a little bit. We're going to continue to mix in this flour. Make sure you mix it in, you know, distribute it all into your mixture. As you can see, I have some salt in the back but I'm not gonna use any because the mackerels already have salt in it. But if yours, it all depends on the brand. If yours don't have as much uh, salt in it, you can add maybe a pinch of salt. Always when you open up your can and drain your liquid off, taste a piece of it just to see how much salt it has in it. Here I'm continuing to mix, making sure everything is well blended in. And then we're gonna go to our next step. Here I have my oil on a medium high heat and um, we're gonna let this heat up. Here 
we are forming some of our meat uh, mixture and we're going to bread it with yellow cornmeal this is just regular cornmeal and then we're adding it to our hot oil it's all up to you uh, the size that you want your patties to be you can make yours larger or smaller than the ones that I'm forming here every time I make these mackerel uh, patties I always think about my mother uh, in the kitchen I would be in there watching her you know make her mackerel patties and uh, this was one of my favorite um, besides the hamburger steaks this is the next favorite that I would always love for her to make uh, if you if you have ever had macro patties please let me know if you know anything about these uh, I do remember these from back in the day when I was a child okay I think I have like two more patties uh, to make uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and pat out those last two and what we do we just let these fry until they become golden brown on the bottom side and then we're gonna flip them over and let them become golden brown okay we're gonna let these continue to fry and then I'm gonna be back when I get ready to flip them over now it's time to flip them over as you can see that they are golden brown and this is what we're looking for these macros bring back so many wonderful memories i remember when my mother i was a little girl i remember she would make those buttermilk biscuits and then she would have these and then she may have some homemade fries or whatever to go along with it sometimes she would make homemade syrup to go along with this meal now do y'all remember the sugar syrup that they used to make oh my goodness those biscuits and that syrup and the fried mackerels they used to call them jack mackerels and that's what i remember them as jack mackerels letting y'all know um uh you can uh, let yours fry longer than i did this is the way i prefer mine to be if you like yours extra crispy flip them over once more here i'm removing our jack michaels out of the skillet i'm going to show you how i prefer mine i always up uh, place mine on a paper towel to soak up that excess oil and um these i'm telling y'all these bring back so many wonderful memories uh, I hope y'all enjoyed cooking with me as much as I always enjoyed cooking with you all. If you don't mind, could you tell me what would you serve along with these micro patties? I remember my mother serving hers with homemade french fries, buttermilk biscuits with syrup and butter. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell to get our new and upcoming videos. And to all my new viewers and subscribers, you are welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel. Okay, y'all, as always, I'm going to say y'all have a blessed day and bye-bye for now. Love y'all, stay safe, and be blessed. My words of encouragement. Sometimes things may not be like we want it to be, but remember there's somebody that's worse off than you. So keep your head up and be thankful for what you have. And pray for others that don't have. Remember, brighter days are coming. Be blessed, everyone. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. That's a hit!